students myself sagar choksi from lj institutes of engineering and technology so in previous session we have started a new topic that related to operating characteristic curve and that we have already completed in last session we have already completed manufacturer risk and consumer risk in last session so in today's session we are going to discuss about control charts so there are many types of control charts here uh, in this particular session we are going to discuss about x bar and r chart and its numerical so let's start the lecture lecture number 31 so here i have attached one classification that related to types of control charts okay so there are four different control charts first and important one that is x bar and r chart number two that is p chart third one that is np chart and fourth one that is c chart in this particular session we are going to discuss about x bar and r chart so move forward to next slide so next an important question it is very important to know about x bar and r chart what is x bar and what is r chart so basically x bar and r chart that related to variable concept okay so let's start x bar and r chart okay first an important step that is calculate x bar for all sample and range r so here you have given 10 or 12 sample you must find out x bar and r concept okay so first an important one that is calculate x bar x bar is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus up to xn divided by n okay and the another equation that is capital r r indicate range okay so r is equal to x maximum minus x minimum okay so you have given 10 or 12 sample and you can easily find out x bar and r concept okay step number 2 calculate x double bar so now you need to calculate x double bar x double bar that is is equal to x1 bar plus x2 bar plus x3 bar up to xn bar divided by n okay and step number 3 calculate r bar so now you need to calculate r bar so r bar is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 up to rn divided by n you need to find out mean value so that you can calculate r bar is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 divided up to rn divided by n so in this particular slide i have attached three different steps so move forward to next step next an important step step number 4 that is calculate ucl and lcl so now the question is what is ucl and what is lcl ucl indicate upper control limit and lcl indicate lower control limit so ucl is equal to x double bar okay x double bar plus a2 into r bar okay so now the question is what is a2 so a2 that is constant and the constant which is given in numerical okay and lcl lower control limit lcl that indicate lower control limit lcl that is is equal to x double bar minus a2 into r bar so now move forward to next step step number 5 that is calculate ucl and lcl for r chart okay so upper control limit you need to find out upper control limit and lower control limit for r chart so here i have attached one equation that related to r chart ucl is equal to d4 capital d4 into r bar where d4 that is constant and the constant is given in numerical okay in this way we can calculate ucl lcl what is lcl lcl that means lower control limit lcl is equal to d3 into r bar once again d3 is equal to constant in the constant which is given in numerical so in this way we need to find out five step and you can easily calculate you can directly find out x bar and r chart okay so move forward to its numerical x bar and r chart okay so here the numerical is following are the reading of diameter you have given the reading for diameter taken for pin manufacture on the lathe machine draw x bar and r chart also give the process trend so now you have given here take a value a2 is equal to 0.729 d4 is equal to 2.283 and d3 is equal to 0 where a2 d4 and d3 are the constant 
so here you have given 10 different sample okay and each sample that is having four different inspection for example in sample number 1 there are four different inspection 14.8 15.1 15 and 14.9 up to 10th okay sample number 10 that is having 14.9 16.3 14.8 and 15.3 so now you need to find out x bar x double bar range r and you need to find out you need to draw x bar and r chart so move forward to its numerical feature i have attached the same table from given data we can calculate x bar and r as follow for example we have already completed the steps for x bar and r chart okay so first step that is you need to calculate x bar Okay, so now x bar is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to xn divided by n. Okay, so in sample number 1, there are 4 different kind of inspection. So, x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 divided by 4. So, that is, is equal to 14.8 plus 15.1 plus 15 plus 14.9 divided by 4. So, in this way, you can calculate x bar and you can get 14.95. So step number two, what, what is step number two? You need to calculate range, okay, range R. So now the equation is range R that is, is equal to X maximum minus X minimum, okay. So in sample number one, there are four quantity, there are four different inspection, 14.8, 15.1, 15 and 14.9. Take maximum value that is, is equal to 15.1 and take minimum value that is, is equal to 14.8. So, 15.1 minus 14.8. So, range range is equal to 0.3. So move forward to next slide. So, similarly, following are the procedure, we can get X bar and R for each sample. Okay, in this way, we can calculate from sample number 2 to sample number 10. You can easily calculate X bar and R. Okay, so move forward to next and important step. Next and important step that is, is equal to X double bar you need to calculate x double bar. So, x double bar that is is equal to x1 bar plus x2 bar plus x3 bar up to x10 bar because you have given 10 different sample divided by n. n that is, is equal to 10. So, now what you have to do x double bar is equal to 14.95 plus 14.95 plus 15.05 up to 10 15.325 divided by n. n that is, is equal to 10. So, in this way you can calculate x double bar that is is equal to 15.11 okay so now you need to calculate r bar so now what you have to do r bar is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 up to 10 because you have given 10 different sample okay so r1 that is is equal to 0.3 plus 0.6 plus 0.5 plus 1.5 plus 0.7 up to 10 1.5 divided by 10. So, in this way you can calculate R bar that is is equal to 0.87. So, in this way we can calculate step number 3. Okay. So, now you need to find out step number 4 and step number 5. So, move forward to next slide. Next slide that related to upper control limit and lower control limit. Okay. So, now calculating the UCL and LCL for X bar. So, now what is the equation? What is the equation for X bar chart? UCL is equal to X double bar plus A2 into R bar. So, X double, X double bar that we have already calculated 15.11 plus 0.729 in bracket 0.87. Okay. So, A2 that is given 0.729 in numerical. So, in this way you can calculate UCL. UCL that is, is equal to 15.73. Okay. So, now you need to calculate LCL. LCL that indicate lower control limit. So, lower control limit is equal to X double bar minus A2 into R bar. X double bar that we have already calculated that is 15.11 minus A2.729 in bracket R bar. R bar we have already calculated 0.87. So, in this way you, you can get LCL. LCL that is, is equal to 14.46. So now you need to find out UCL and LCL for R chart. Okay. Similarly, calculate, calculating the limit for range R. So, now what is the equation? UCL that is is equal to D4 into R bar. D4 that we have already taken from numerical that is is equal to 2.282 and R bar. R bar that is is equal to 0.87. So, in this way you can calculate UCL. 
UCL that is is equal to 1.989. Okay, so you can calculate LCL. LCL that is is equal to D3 into R bar. So D3 is equal to zero and R bar that is is equal to 0.87. So in this way you can calculate LCL. LCL that is is equal to zero. So in this way we can calculate step number four that related to X bar chart, UCL and LCL, and step number five that related to range R, UCL and LCL. So now you need to find out. You need to draw X bar and R chart. Okay. So now what you have to do? Move forward to next slide that related to X bar chart. Okay. So here on X axis I have attached sample number. So you have given ten different sample. Okay. And on Y axis I have taken sample average. Okay. So that related to X bar chart. Okay. So on X axis I have attached sample number. Okay, so on uh, sample number one that indicate 14.95. So I have plot 14.95 here. On sample number two, sample number two that is having 14.95 value. So plot 14.95. Sample number three that indicate 15.05. So indicate 15.05 on graph. Sample number four that related to 15.2. So plot out 15.2. So up to 10. Up to tenth, tenth one that is 15.325. So indicate 15.325. So now what you have to do? Connect sample number one to sample number ten. You will get, you will generate this graph. Okay. So you can easily find out this graph. Okay. That related to X bar chart. So now UCL that is is equal to 15.73 and LCL that that is is equal to 14.46. Okay, so in this way you can calculate UCL and LCL, and you will also generate this graph. Okay, so now you need to draw R chart. So move forward to next slide. Next slide that related to R chart. Okay, so so here I have attached R chart on X axis. I have attached sample number on Y axis. I have attached range R. Okay, so on X axis I have attached sample number. So First of all, you need to plot UCL and LCL. UCL that is is equal to 1.9895. Okay, and LCL that is is equal to zero. Okay, now what you have to do on sample number one, the value for range R that is is equal to 0.3. So plot 0.3 for sample number one. Sample number two that is is equal to 0.6. Sample number three that is is equal to 0.5. Sample number four that is is equal to 1.5 up to 10. Sample number ten that is is equal to one point five. So now connect all the value. Connect from starting from uh, one sample number one to sample number ten. So you will generate this graph. Okay. So in this way we can calculate UCL and LCL, and we can easily generate this graph. So this is what R chart. So thank you, thank you so much. In this particular session we discuss X bar and R chart and its numerical. So in next session we will discuss about P chart that related to attribute chart. So thank you, thank you so much.